Hi everyone. Uh, I've been using my Apple Watch now for about a week and a bit and uh, obviously one of the first things we like to do is start playing around with the watch faces and if you have an Apple Watch you've tried to customize different watch faces and have lots of fun with that. Uh, but one of the things I discovered was there's a uh, third-party watch faces uh, apps available. One of them is called Clockology and this app is incredible not just because it has a billion different watch faces but because there's a whole community online that share watch faces and they built not just an app, but really a platform, right? A creative platform where the app for the phone lets you essentially build any watch face you want from scratch. And uh, you know, these are some watch faces that I've downloaded. Uh, some of them I've modified, some I've created, and it's really, really neat. Uh, there's a Facebook fan page for Clockology and a lot of uh, people that are very creative are posting watch faces up there every day. Uh, it's almost, uh, you know, you have so many, you can't really figure out what to get and you can only uh, do so much, but they are really, really fun. You can see here some of the Microsoft Windows, you know, this is a fun thing to show your friends. And uh, there's one that looked kind of like a Back to the Future, you know, time grid. Uh, some of them look like Casio watches, you know, all sorts of fun stuff. Um, so there's a little bit of a hurdle getting the app going on the phone. A lot of people download it and then end up with this remote app on their watch and they, fig they can't figure out what to do with it after that because the, the sync to watch option to sync faces from the app to the, to, the, um, to the watch doesn't work. So you have to download something called Enable Beta and uh, run that in the Apple Watch, sorry, in the... Uh, iPhone app first in Clockology and then it'll unlock the remote app in the watch. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail about that now but it is something that uh, there, it's covered by a lot of other people uh, if you just look it up uh, how to activate Clockology using Enable Beta and um, it's done I believe because Apple does not like third-party watch face apps um, to, dump, to be allowed on their, on their watch for various reasons. So this is, I think, their way of allowing it to be accepted in the App Store so that people can still download it and use it, um, but it's not so easy to get it going. So you run Enable Beta, it then unlocks it and lets you start doing this kind of thing that you see here. And um, you get onto the Facebook fan page, uh, or you can, you can actually look at a lot of YouTube videos uh, of people who have done faces and they usually provide links to either Mediafire, Dropbox accounts, or wherever they decide to drop the file. They're quite small, so you can put a ton of them on your, your watch and a ton of them on your phone. You can have thousands and thousands of different watch faces, customize, and uh, you know essentially it's like a game. It becomes a very creative game where you can create and, and modify and play around with different things when you're bored and you can come up with almost anything you want in a fairly, fairly quick amount of time for simple stuff. And uh, you know a little bit more creative watches like this take a little more time to do. Um, but there you have it. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's a you know, neat feature to have. Now, the only drawback to Clockology is, there's a, obviously there's a few settings that you have to do on your watch. First of all, there's a bunch of things to enable the battery to last longer. Usually on a, I can get almost like more than a day on a regular watch faces like this. Uh, but when I have Clockology running, um, I can't make it past dinner time, usually on a full charge. So that's the only problem. Clockology does eat up some battery life. And, uh, you know, there are ways to optimize your battery. Uh, you know, again, look at YouTube videos about that. Uh, try to get more life out of it. But unfortunately, it is an app. It's running all the time and it's doing stuff that does use up more battery resources over and on top of the default um, Apple watch faces that are already in here. You can set it so that when you wake up your watch, it will always go back to the Clockology because uh, some people complain that when they wake up their watch, it goes to, to this screen, right? Um, but there are settings where you can have it return to the, the last open app. Just have to, again, follow some of the instructional videos of setting up Clockology. Um, and there's some permissions that you should set when you download and install the Clockology app to give it access to all your health information and your location and everything. And that's also something covered by other videos. So here you can see that most of my, uh, all of my faces basically have access to all of my steps and, uh, you know, movement, exercise, battery power, location, that kind of thing. Uh, now, the only thing is weather information 
is um, costs money because I believe uh, it costs Clockology money to download weather information through some API. So they charge users if you want to get the weather, um, you have to subscribe and you get something called Clockology Plus. Now there's a million watch faces that have weather information built in and you can add your own weather information as well. Like up here, you see there's a temperature symbol um, and they, they, you could put your location, you know, uh, clouds and all that stuff, the moon phases, all of these things can be added, but they do require some extra information, sorry, some uh, subscriber um, uh, Clockology Plus uh, feature. Uh, but you can always modify your watch faces if you don't want the weather to and remove that. Otherwise, it just shows up blank. Um, but I definitely recommend uh, giving it a shot. Download Clockology, play around with it, see what you like. If you really enjoy it and you want to get more of the features, uh, I encourage you to subscribe to Clockology Plus. Get on the Facebook, uh, Facebook group. See all the creative ideas that people put up. It's really fun and it becomes addictive. Like you'll find that you're playing around with your watch faces uh, in, in your iPhone app and up and syncing it to your watch to try different things. Um, so, you know, just be warned that if you're creative and you like watches and faces, um, you'll start playing around with it and trying to make your own faces very soon. And sky's the limit. I mean, really, like I said before, they didn't just create an app, they created a platform for creativity. Uh, which I think is the greatest uh, thing about the app. It's, um, it's open to anyone to play around with and discover. And, uh, and there's, the community shares these faces for free uh, with everybody and they're modifiable. So you can keep building on them and playing around with them and doing whatever you want. So there you have it, Clockology. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe and catch you next time. Bye for now.